How's everybody doing today? Cooking well to help cure right. cancer. Shot before a live audience, this program features food that's nutritious, desirable, and most importantly, when cancer treatments cause lost appetites or fatigue, easy to prepare. Cooking doesn't have to be hard. I know there's chefs in the industry that make it seem very fancy, but it's, uh, it can be very easy to do. So I think I'd try to, try to present that. Way to get that protein, mm -hmm. get some extra... The hosts make the food. They explain ingredients and answer questions. A starter, breads, main course, and dessert. All for a patient who might normally open a tin, defrost something bad for them, or worse, not eat at all. It's easy to make, the ingredients are easy to find, and it's something that people see us do and think, wow, it's, it's that easy, it doesn't have to take a lot of effort, and it's going to make me feel better. Fussy eaters, food allergies, vegetarians, the program caters to all with variations on each dish, offering replacements for most ingredients. These two patients say both the chef and the nutritionist have transformed their lives. She's sneaking education into us yeah. when, when we're not looking, I yeah. think. And we're listening to that education at the same time, but it's not like it's just thrown at us, because you're already feeling sick. You don't want anybody to tell you, well, don't eat this and don't eat that and don't, because you're already upset about everything else. Time to eat, the best part of the show. Not everyone tasting here today is a patient or a caregiver. Some just like the food. But it's aimed squarely at those getting cancer treatment, getting new ideas into them almost by stealth. They don't want to necessarily come to programs that's all about the cancer, all about the side effects. They want to come to programs that are going to help them move forward with their life, improve their quality of life and live well. As cancer treatments improve, medical science is looking beyond clinics and hospital beds and finding that food can help people cope with the disease that was once literally a death sentence. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.